On Monday, we reported on more baby deaths linked to popular infant incline sleepers after they were recalled. So how is this possible? Are companies doing enough to warn parents of the dangers of these products? As 12 on your side's Marilyn Moritz reports, some safety experts say that simple answer is no. Breaking news tonight on a major recall of the popular rock and play sleeper made by Fisher Price. That was the spring of 2019 when Fisher Price and Kids 2 infant incline sleepers were recalled. That came after a Consumer Reports investigation revealing at least 36 deaths linked to the products. Since then, that number has tripled and 12 of those deaths came after the recalls. These sleepers position infants on an inclined sleeping surface, and that increases the risk of suffocation if it makes their heads drop forward onto their chests while they're sleeping. More deaths means even though the sleepers can't legally be sold, they are still used in homes. When a product gets recalled, it's the manufacturer's responsibility to both get it out of the stores and to alert people who already own it to stop using it immediately. And um, safety experts say that they just haven't seen Fisher Price or kids to do enough in that area. According to Mattel, Fisher Price's parent company, as of last March, only nine and a half percent of the rock and play sleepers had been accounted for since the recall. In other words, more than four million recalled sleepers are potentially still in use. Mattel says Fisher Price has worked diligently to remove all recalled product from the market. Kids too did not respond to a request for comment. To keep a baby safe, the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends babies be put to bed only in products that meet federal safety requirements for infant sleep, such as a crib, bassinet, or play yard. And if you're struggling to get your infant to sleep, ask your pediatrician for advice. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News.